I am seriously, seriously excited about this one, guys. The eagerly awaited BSA Defiant. Oh my God, I have been waiting for this thing. And it has been well worth the wait as well. What a great ballpup PCP air rifle or semi ballpup. What with the uh, action kind of being here, the cocking lever rather than say like a wildcat where it's uh, sort of back there. But oh my God, just, just have a look at this thing before I really start talking about it because I'm seriously, seriously impressed. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. Right, let's throw out some specs then. First of all, before we get down to the usual rack and load nitty gritty. So first of all, just reading off my notes here. Available in 177 and 22. Uh, the 2.2 is the, this one that is on test. So um, in the soft touch stock, talk more about that shortly. Um, Overall weight on scoped is quite hefty 9.1 pounds. Overall length is 31 inches, barrel length is 18 and a half inches. Uh, BSA's cold forged hammer, cold hammer forged barrel, when I can say it, uh, shrouded barrel. Um, 232 uh, bar, the fill pressure is on the cylinder. Um, Two stage trigger, talking about 93 shots in 2.2 two, um, and around, well, that's roughly what I was getting. Basically, BSA uh, pretty much say in their manual that with the 177 you'll get around 110 shots uh, in the 2.2 two, you'll get about 120 shots. So there's only sort of 10 shots difference between the two calibers. Um, but, oh my God. What a superb, superb rifle. Right then, before we get stuck in and really look at this thing in some detail, let's just talk about the magazines. BSA is a pretty much standard uh, multi-shot magazine um, because this is a PCP multi-shot. Um, pretty damn reliable, good magazines, not a problem with them at all. The only thing I would say, I mean, they're dead easy to load and everything. The only thing I would say is it'd be nice if it had like once you've fired your 10 shots 10 shot by the way uh, once you've fired your 10 shots it'd be nice if it had like a stop so you couldn't sort of just you know take that 11th shot by accident you know some like we get on say an fx magazine where it sort of once you're out of ammo it basically stops your cocking it again and dry firing it that's probably my only little thing about the bsa magazines other than that though absolutely brilliant magazines um really cannot fault them cannot fault them but let's have a talk about this thing then so let's get up close and personal now side lever cocking um magazines basically go in the side there so nice and flush as well and the first thing i've got to say about this thing because i did have a good look at one of these at uh, the British shooting show uh, this year is is that it is totally ambidextrous all right apart from the cock and lever that doesn't bother me if you're a lefty like me you're probably that used to using uh, left hand cocking levers or left hand bolts on firearms that probably doesn't bother you it doesn't bother me the main thing on ball pups and semi ball pups is when there's a magazine sticking out the side in your face, basically. This isn't because on the right hand side, where a lefty's cheek will be, there's nothing in the way. It's you righties that have got the magazine slightly protruding, when I can say it, um, but it's really not noticeable at all. This is a real good ambidextrous semi ball pop rifle and it is just oh, it is superb now like I was saying it, well let's just take it from the top you know rather than me sort of going off on tangents here and there which I probably will um 
the recoil pad, fairly medium sort of soft uh, rubber, quite nice actually. Um, you know, can't really fault it. It'd be nice if they had BSA's logo in there. It's a bit of a finishing touch rather than that molding mark there or whatever that is. Um, it is adjustable, um, which is nice. Um, like I said, um, BSA's soft touch stock. So it is actually a wooden stock that's coated in like this rubberized finish. Uh, so it's not like a hollow synthetic. It is a solid stock. Um, You've got a sling swivel stud there at the rear, one at the front, so you can sling this thing, no problem at all. By the way, if you're wondering what the scope is, just a test scope, uh, quite an old one of mine actually. Um, it's uh, looking at it, oh, God, I forget what it is, a Viper MTC, uh, 832 times 60, quite a big one, really. Um, not a bad scope at all, um, but like I say, just a test scope, so ignore it if you can. But yeah, moving along the stock, we'll talk about the stock first. Really, really nice, so comfortable, totally ambidextrous. Pistol grip, the bottom of it, you've got BSA's logo, and then you've got some gorgeous stippling there. Real sort of deep stippling. Really love that. And then moving along to the fore end. Again, nice stippling. Really nice. So comfortable this rifle is. A little bit heavy, especially with this scope on. So this is over 10 pounds that I'm holding here. So quite a beast, uh, but oh, it just feels real good quality. So the actual, um, well, cheek piece I guess you call it polymer which is nice because it'll be warm to the cheek rather than an aluminium or a, you know some sort of metal or whatever uh, your safety catch is here so nice and simple the safety catch is non-automatic which I like can't stand automatic safety catches especially on multi-shot rifles kind of defeats the object you know if you want to take a a rapid sort of follow-up shot and then this is where all the magic happens basically I've got to put it down guys it's getting heavy this is uh, your cocking lever here now notice the actual handle is sort of well I need to show you pretty close up the actual handle itself has got a nice grip on it and it's just so ergonomic it's really nice you know that actually rotates as you cock it so oh, it just feels so so well made I mean look at look how chunky the uh, the actual handle is and all the lever and linkages so to speak just really really well built you know nothing sort of flimsy like what you do get on a lot of I'm not going to mention any manufacturers but on on quite a lot of um, you know side lever air rifles, you do get a lot of wobble and a, you know a lot of looseness uh, in the ch in the uh, charging handle or cocking handle um, or cocking lever. Uh, not on the Defiant, um, you know that thing is solid and it's just so comfortable to use, and it's pretty in inobtrusive as well when it's sort of you know when it is closed. Uh, but oh, what a what a real comfortable. I can't emphasise how comfortable this thing is to shoot. It really is nice. But yeah, the, let's talk about the uh, the actual loading of it because you know we're kind of on that subject to looking at the uh, the cocking lever. Basically, if uh, anyone you know hasn't used a side, side uh, cocking PCP before, basically you pull the lever back, and then you've got your magazine which is here, load your magazine up with the desired ingredients, i.e. one, seven, seven pellets, or in this case, two, two. And what I love about this, the BSA Defiant, and it's one of my favorite types of, uh, what could you call it? Loading, um, what's the word? Uh, inventions, I don't know, I, don't, I can't think of the word, is the magnet. 
just the magnet holds it in there's no sort of lever you know that you've got to press or push push forward to sort of hold the magazine in you just basically push it in it almost sort of sucks itself in the magnet just really great you know it works how simple is that it just totally works so basically put your magazine in like that and then just close the lever and you're hot good to go like i said no automatic safety so you know you you're pretty much ready to rock and then you've just got 10 shots you know just pull the lever back after each shot just superb really really superb now just flipping it around and looking at the other side of the action um pretty sort of just minimalistic which i not I really really like you know there's no bits sticking out that shouldn't be you've just got nice um sort of i think it's like a laser etched logo there made in the uk in england bsa defiant love that you know it, everything just feels solid on this thing you know it is just rock solid it built like a tank you know really really solid rifle um now when you look at this thing i mean a lot of people always think oh god that's got a short barrel but bear in mind it is a bullpup configuration or semi bullpup so that barrel is going all the way along to where the magazine is so you know it's quite quite a long barrel you know it, there's nothing short about it the last bit as you can see is shrouded uh, which is nice gives the barrel sort of a chunky look you know and i was gonna say sort of free floating but it it isn't really free floating because you know it, the barrel is actually going through um well the action basically so you know it's only a free floating barrel from where the barrel basically starts at the at the breach you know whereas the breach is basically here so it's not free floating barrel although it does look like a free floating barrel um built-in sound moderator or silencer um which is a real nice touch this thing is pretty quiet to be fair um, like i said this is the 2.2 version um uh, you know it's pretty average as far as pcp goes on you know noise it's a pcp at the end of the day it's you know it's not mega loud so you know nothing really to worry about there while we're up front oh, i've got to say it guys you know what i'm going to say oh why did they put them there oh, i'm gonna let this one go because this rifle is so cool i'm gonna let this one go yeah the manometer is at the front end but we'll let you off on that bsa because you've built such a great rifle um there's the uh well whilst we talk about the manometer um there's your filler port there quick fill uh whatever you want to call it uh, you get all the bits in the box which i'll show you shortly um there's your air cylinder air tank whatever you want to call it um so it's nice and contained in this real sort of nice rugged solid stock and then moving on to by the way i didn't mention sports match mounts excellent mounts by the way um you've got like a dovetail um rail here i kind of would have liked because on the on the maybe not so on the black pepper or maybe even so i don't know i guess it's your preference i know a lot of air gun makers have the, the you know the sort of the dovetail i would have liked picatinny rail on there myself that would have been my preference but hey ho you know that would have just finished this thing off pretty nice because i guess if you're going for the black soft touch you've got a bit of tacticalness in your blood i suppose um but yeah that's probably you know what i maybe would have liked to have seen on this but you know whatever it's it's just probably more cosmetic than anything um but yeah just just a superb superb rifle the trigger the trigger is really nice guys um we have got that cock so we'll give it a pull and then we'll talk about accuracy because accuracy is pretty damn good on this thing but let's give the trigger a pull while we have got it cocked just get my yeah uh, little measurer thingy right let's just give this a pull it was pulling so nice 
working on. It's not working. Oh, maybe I have to take the safety catch off. Oh, just under two pounds. 1.7 pounds. That is a nice trigger. Not mega loud. I mean, I don't know whether that really picked it up on the on my microphone, but it's not mega loud. Bear in mind, it is empty as well, so it'll be a little bit quieter when it has got a pellet in there. But oh, just a nice trigger. Um, the blade itself, if I can get it in shot, not bad, not bad at all. Let's spin it around a little bit. So I'm catching wires from all my lighting and stuff. There's a trigger. Then your metal trigger guard there. Mm, I don't know whether I actually like the profile of the trigger guard. Yeah, I like that it's, you know, it's pretty chunky, you know. Uh, that trigger is adjustable, by the way. Um, I don't know whether I'm... Mm, yeah, I can put up with it. It kind of reminds me of the trigger guard straight off of BSA Mercury. Maybe not, I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> That's me just thinking out loud. Um, right then, accuracy. Now, bear in mind, you guys can shoot way better than me. I admit that I'm a crap shot, okay? You know, I'm not one of these super snipers that come on uh, YouTube claim claiming I can put a bullet in a flea's bomb at 1,000 yards or whatever. But this is uh, my testing results on the pellets that I got at the time. I hadn't got a huge... Um, selection of pellets but i found this thing to sort of be uh well pretty much like any flavor pellets the ones that i got i think i've got how many i've got different flavor pellets one two three four five different flavor pellets fairly popular-ish ones but i'd run out of my usual test ammo um the rws super domes which was a shame i need to stock up on them but first of all then a good hunting pellet Bisley Magnums. Okay, this is at 30 yards. 30 yards is my test range. People are jumping in and like, oh, 30 yards, that's not far enough to test an air rifle. It's my test range, it's 30 yards, that's it. Okay, that's as far as I can go on my air gun test range. So, three shot groups in each target. Not bad. Mm, that one's probably a little bit ropey. Down to the pellet, maybe. Down to me, more than likely. Then we've got uh, Acupels. These were a little bit tighter. So again, 30 yards. That's a nice group there. Three shot groups, not bad. And then I'm gonna save the, what is that the best? Yeah, I'm gonna save the best to last. Excite Hammer, I don't even know who makes these. I just found a tin of them. They're kind of like a, Semi dome, semi wad cutter kind of pellet, not ideal for sort of long range sort of stuff, but they weren't too bad. You know, they weren't too bad at all. Uh, I'll show you the tin if I had it, I don't know where it is. Um, and then what we got next? HN Field Target Trophy. Not bad, not bad. Don't know what happened there, it just tore the target a little bit. So, uh, and this was probably the best. That I found was the Sovereign Range Masters. They were pretty damn, damn good. Not bad at all. So, really, not, you know, it's hard to kind of determine the best pellet in my testing, um, you know, without sort of really, really getting scientific and testing this thing out. Um, you know, for average Joe like me, um, pretty much this thing will, will eat whatever you sort of feed it, pretty much. I just think probably the Acupel and the Range Masters were probably about the best. Again, how scientific is that? I mean, it's down to my shooting, but they seem, they seem pretty good. You know, probably this, the Range Masters, so... I guess you'll have to try yourself. You get one of these, you, you just gotta try it, you know. Every gun's different. So accuracy, pretty damn good. That trigger, with it being a ballpark, um, you know, where you've got sort of linkages and stuff going back here, because obviously the trigger, you know, isn't 
here because the pellets fired from way back here so you have linkages going back and whatnot so usually ball pop triggers can be a little bit ropey but this one um really nice really really nice but oh guys what a rifle what a rifle right i'll show you the box now bsa do supply you with a decent hard case which is nice um you get all your bits and pieces in here um and you get some of that stuff that you always find in boxes um silicon is it or whatever it's called um so yeah um nice box you know feels like a quite quite a good quality box as well you know not like a, just a rubbishy plastic hard case just for the sake of saying it comes in a hard case this is quite a good one right let's get that out of the way so also in the box you get your instruction manual um show you that in a sec and you get like allen keys tube of uh, grease by the looks of it and your quick fill adapter some spare o-rings as well sorry i was off camera there so you, that's what you get in basically in the box uh, the actual manual pretty pretty minimalistic um this is typical bsa in my uh, my experience you know it's just like one sheet sheet rather than a manual um but it pretty much tells you everything you really need to know myself i, I prefer a little booklet you know just just adds to the i don't know pride of ownership you know when you first get this thing you get it out of the box it's i don't know i guess it's a rack and load thing i like to have a nice you know booklet to look through you know in front of the tally before i can at least take take it out onto the range or whatever you know um but yeah a little bit minimalistic the manual is um but i guess it does it does what it, it does what it's supposed to do bsa come on you know it's nearly a well these are about a thousand pounds here in the uk at the bsa defiant at least throw in a decent manual bsa come on jeez but anyway so digress but guys seriously this is one of my favorites to date the bsa defiant regulated by the way forgot to mention that duh you know i just thought i'd forget to mention a major um detail that it's regulated you've probably established that anyway with it being written on the side it is regulated so the shots won't sort of drop off yeah, i didn't really uh, run this thing out um uh, you know i just topped it up when when i sort of felt the need still got a bit of air in there um but i didn't find the shots were dropping off or anything when it was getting low you know because it won't because it's regulated so um you know it's just a cracking bit of kit guys like i said this is at the moment to date what are we in for uh, july 2018 this is my favorite pcp ball pop semi ball pop to date reason being it is left hand friendly okay all right the day state pulse are you know can be swapped round to left handed you know um but i like the way you can just get this thing straight out of the box you know or you could borrow friends you know and you're good to go on it left or right handed so that is an absolute win in my book St um forgot to mention as well stock wise i mean i love the um the soft touch um stocks from bsa you know you can get them in all different colors as well not on the defiant at the minute i don't think but i think that'd look pretty damn sick in camo you know the camouflage that um bsa do oh my god that would look cool i don't think i've seen a camouflage uh, ball pup yet that would look amazing really would but the black pepper that they do um is just stunning um the laminate black pepper 
really really nice stock you know so if you want something really sort of swish then the black laminate is the one to go go for if you're going to use this as a hunter then i'd probably recommend uh, the soft touch you know it's more synthetic um but like i said it is wood underneath you know so you've still got a bit of weight there and it's not hollow it is solid this stock is but the soft touch you know it'll take a few knocks you know a few bumps and bashes but guys let me know what you think um you know i think this is probably the first review of this rifle um on youtube you've seen it here first rack and load make sure you subscribe and ring hit that bell as well so you get notified when i uh, upload my uh, my vids um shameless plug there guys um but yeah what what more can i say about uh, the uh, bsa defiant i'm sorry i'm just losing all my sheet off my table um just excellent i just love the profile of it i love the the feel of it it shoots really well you know um just a good looking good looking bullpup rifle and made in the uk birmingham it just doesn't get any better does it anyway guys that is your rack and load review of the bsa defiant you seen it here first on rack and load thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe that's rack and load see ya